like three hours before the departure. And I believe a French fee is not part of the TSA through check or a little entry. So we have to be here super bad. Yeah. That's what you're paying for because the cheaper airline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you get us there, that will be fine. Sure. Get us there and don't lose anything. <laughs> <laughs> This is our first full day in Paris, and yep. where are we going? We are going to Musée Rodin, the Rodin Museum. But first, cafe. <laughs> Took a walk in the Musée Rodin, and it was pretty cool. I didn't know much at all about Rodin. The thinker and it, a lot of other things are a lot darker than I uh, had previously expected. A lot of them are set in hell. The thinker is a man watching and pondering and thinking about the uh, inhabitants of hell, the tense muscles. I guess kind of reflect his opinion of being in hell. Yeah, it's pretty twisted. And then we saw the gates of hell, which was for some reason commissioned by the state. Now think about this. Think if we are in the United States uh, with all of the things that the government does spend money on, like let's say, you know, almost a trillion dollars in defense. Let's say Joe Biden or whoever the president is at the time says, you know what, we're going to use a lot of federal spending for a work of art. Not only are we going to spend it on a work of art, but we're going to spend it on a work of art called the Gates of Hell. And then uh, just right on the other side of the, the shot here in the pond, there is a a very beautiful, very disturbing, unnerving sculpture of a man being forced to eat his children. And it's like one of the main highlights of the sculpture garden here at the uh, Musée Rodin. I think it's really awesome because we learned um, sculptures from 
Rodin when I was a kid, and I only seen them in pictures. But you know, sculptures you have to experience them in 3D, and then you just was able to walk around those and getting very close to all these details and see the muscles and even mm. their nerves and then the veins and like it's really really cool when you see those sculptures see how expressive the body language is the facial expressions and everything is just mm -hmm. so amazing because i was like who's his model who's his muse now i really want to see a dance performance because I want to see those expressions, emotions. Really cool first stop on this big Paris trip. Maybe we will find a cafe or boulangerie to grab a croissant, croissant, <laughs> or baguette, whatever that is. We're so, still learning French. Yeah, we're still learning French. Um, but thanks to Duolingo, we, we learned for about 50, 60 days. I think we had enough. Mm -hmm vocabulary no, <laughs> to I don't order, think I did. To order in a cafe or a, a bakery, so we'll see. <laughs> So we just finished our first lunch at a, uh, a regular French bistro brasserie uh, called Le Comptoir. We had some escargot, a spaghetti salad, and some basically little paninis with uh, a little side salad as well. It's really good. What did you think about lunch? I think lunch is perfect. Like we didn't order too much like we used to do. I think we ordered a bit of uh, everything. Mm -hmm. 